by training, skill, discipline and personal courage. But that thirdly, the battlefield is an arena of accident and chance, and no soldier, however brave or disciplined, however skilled in the handling of his weapons, can guarantee to himself his own survival. Those who do survive are set apart from the rest of us, and it is their experience that is the subject of this series. Next week, Frederick Forsyth looks at the role of the cavalry down the ages. Soldiers at 9.25 next Wednesday. And there's a companion exhibition to the series, open daily from 10 until 5.30 at the National Army Museum, Royal Hospital Road, Chelsea, until January the 12th. Admission is free. On Friday, Christopher Jones charts the history of Number 10 Downing Street, including the critical period of the war when Churchill was in residence. Number 10 was, in fact, extensively damaged during the war, but the Churchills spent much of their time in the bomb-proof annex at Storey's Gate nearby. All the windows of Number 10 were blown out, although wartime censorship kept these demoralizing pictures away from the public. Churchill still used the cabinet room as his office whenever he could, and there he prepared his great wartime speeches with his long-suffering staff. One of the troubles was that the PM would go broody for about three or four days, uh, compiling the thing in his brain. And we get more and more worried, wondering when on earth he was going to produce this thing with a parliamentary deadline coming up. And then, <clears throat> usually after dinner one evening, uh, uh, he'd ring the bell and... Uh, uh, with a broad grin say, I shall need two women tonight. Number 10 Downing Street, the first of two programmes on Friday at 10.20 on BBC One. An art night's film on BBC One. Jacqueline Bissett and Christopher Plummer star in a 1975 remake of the old Hollywood classic thriller, The Spiral Staircase. <laughs>